Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Ken Dodd's Butty Book of 1977, we're going to be making the Gambler's Grill. Mm. Once again, we find ourselves with a recipe that gives out no measurements whatsoever. So we start off with chopped ham, to which we add chopped cheese. Didn't say what kind, so I'm just using cheddar. And, of course, creamed corn. Now we put that onto buttered bread. Now we grill it, which I'm taking to mean broiling, until it gets melty. Then we top with another piece of buttered bread and brown it. Okay, let's give this Gambler's Grill a go. It's not bad. A little, little sweet corn, a little cheddar cheese, a little ham. I do want to plus it up with something, though. Well, it's got corn in it, so I'm naturally going to go with the Trader Joe's Everything But Elote Seasoning Blend. I think it's going to go well with everything in here. Okay, let's give this Gambler's Grill Sandwich plussed up with the Everything But the Elote Seasoning Blend from Trader Joe's. Go. That seasoning blend has cumin and, and cilantro and a little bit of cheese powder, and it's just basically a, a seasoning to kind of emulate elote, and it's going really well with the corn, the cheese, and the ham. Well, I can honestly say that I've never had cream and corn in a sandwich before, but uh, there's a first time for everything. Um, the original Gambler's Grill wasn't bad. It wasn't crazy good, but it wasn't bad. I'm going to give it a six. Plus, up with the everything but elote seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I'd probably give that a seven, maybe seven and a half. I'm definitely going to finish that. I don't know that I would make this again, but it wasn't bad. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Oh.